This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. They're working on their warm-up canter. Those who know Melody know that she had a long history. This is Trudy's horse she raised and trained, but uh, Melody was off to a trainer many years ago and came back and was a, a mess. I guess that's a good way to put it. But uh, she couldn't pick up her lead behind at all, couldn't pick it up in front. She was pacing at all the gates. Her ears were back. Her mouth was wide open. She was a very agitated, anxious horse. It's taken us at least four years to get her to this point. You can see she's still not sure how to keep... That's right. She doesn't know. She's not being bad. It's just like her hind end falls out. That's right. She doesn't know where to keep her back end yet. And that's okay because now at least she's moving. She's relaxed. You're able to contain her energies where she's not bolting around the ring. Yeah, she's cross catering sometimes, but I'm just trying to like pick it back up. Cross that's right. Back up. Yep, that's it's right. Right. Yep, it's not an issue. You're, you're exactly right. You just trot, pick it up again, trot, pick it up again. So we've made it so things like her breaking behind, you'll see that she'll pick up the opposite lead behind, cross cantering. When she, in the middle of her canter, and that's just when she loses her balance. She doesn't really know how to stay under yet, but we're not making an issue. That's nice. Just keep it soft. Soften her jaw. And, and she thinks she loses it, but I think it's just really hard for her. It is hard for her. I, I, I don't want to say she's being disrespectful. She's not or, being. Or she's not. She's she is not. Um, I can just feel it. It's just like all of a sudden it just falls apart. That's right. It's just like when you're first learning how to uh, balance on a balance beam and sometimes you fall off. That's right. So now that's where you're going to start using more of your rider aids to help her balance. And I was trying to keep the circle a little bit smaller. Okay, good. To um, move her shoulders. Yes. So you've really got to watch your rear end with your inside leg too. If she's dropping her lead behind, it's simply, it sounds so simple, she's not sitting on her inside hind. Good. So you think, look through her ears for the bend, as taught by Carl Hester, world champion dressage trainer. That's it. So that makes you bring her shoulder over, which will keep her more on her inside hind. Good. Ask for a trot, change directions, try it from the other side. Now remember when you come down from the counter to try, notice I said try, to slow down the steps until she steps into the trot. Praiser. That's it, take your time. Outside rein to the inside hind. It's an indirect rein of opposition. She's using her leg on the same time, same side as she does it. Good, good. If she's losing it, what do you need to do? That's right. Go back to a trot, pick the canter up. If you feel her starting to lose the balance in the canter, that's when you're going to either think leg yield or bring her shoulder in to see if you can keep her on that hind leg. Well, she probably thinks she can. It's really difficult for her. But what I like is she's staying relaxed. She's giving you a nice soft canter. Even though she may not be able to stay balanced on that hind leg the whole time, the responses she's giving are so different now. She doesn't, she's not frantic. She's not anxious. Take your time. So when she breaks gate, that's when you have to connect her even more between your rein and leg. It sounds so easy. You just think you have to shift her back, shift her back. she have halt. Half halt, half halt, half halt with your outside rein, half halt. That's all right, it doesn't matter. Just change directions, change your lead. Praise her. So we make the training a pleasant experience for both the horses and the riders. It's more of a game that way. Yes. Well, remember, she used to bolt. You remember the days when she used to just bolt around the ring and she was all anxious and oh, she was a mess psychologically, which affected her physically. Good. Praise her. 
Now you're feeling the point where she drops you, right? Yeah. So when you're feeling, because you'll do it at the same space, maybe you need to ask for more push. You're just trying to feel, what can you do? Push her forward. Good. So maybe that's all she needs. When you feel she's going to lose her back end, you're just going to push her up a little bit. Because she's going to lose it right about here, right? Push her up. Good. That's it. That's all right. Well, you're getting tired. It's it's five minutes, so it's time for you to get tired. So tell... I like to tire from the last lesson, too. Right, right, right. So tell me, what did you feel with, with uh, Melody today as you were cantering? Because she had some pretty nice moments there. I, I do like what you suggested. I think she's starting to fall apart. Instead of me trying to keep her more collected, kind of like just push her up a little bit. Good. And that way her back end has a chance to, like, catch up. That's yes. That's all I can think. Sometimes it gets out of sync with the front end. Yes. So, but no, I think she really is trying today. Yeah. I don't have um, any hard feelings about what she's done and what she hasn't done. I think she's really, she's really been trying today. Yes, yes. Good girl, Melody.